back to the channel and today we're doing a video that has nothing to do with gardening and everything to do with grilling outside. I wanted to show you guys what we have going on today real quick because not too long ago we talked about a sponsor that we had um, by the name of Grillaholics and they sent us some pretty cool things that we have to try out here while we're grilling. One of those things that I did want to talk about is this thermometer that they gave us here. This is an awesome piece of gear. It has a base and it has another piece here, the remote um, thermometer right here. So the base has the thermometer that goes right into your meat or chicken or whatever you're cooking on the grill. And then the remote here has the temperature setting. Uh, you can change this to meat, uh, beef, fish, lamb, all the meat you have. And then you can set it to well done, rare, medium well, whatever setting that you want. And it tells you your current temp and it tells you what the temperature is set at when it's actually done. You can also set a timer to let you know how long you have it on there and the timer will, and the actual, the set temperature will also tell you when it's actually done. It'll, it'll have an alarm that tells you when that meat has reached that perfect temperature. Okay, so definitely want to share that with you because it's an awesome piece of gear. We absolutely love grilling out here, especially when we're out here in the garden. It's somewhat of a favorite pastime, I guess you could say. Um, as most of, most of you already know, we are from Texas. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a Texas barbecue rub recipe that I use for my brisket. It's an awesome recipe. It'll have your brisket tasting like if you were eating a brisket sandwich from Texas. So I'm gonna put that on the screen there and show you guys exactly uh, what ingredients you need to make that rub. I'm also gonna make a Texas barbecue sauce that I absolutely love making. If any of you guys are from Texas, you know what Rudy's barbecue is, and that is an absolutely amazing barbecue sauce. So we're gonna make that here today, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it here on the grill. Usually I make it inside, but I'm gonna make it on the grill here because I got some time left over for this brisket and for our, uh, our Cornish hen here. So I'm gonna just let it simmer while I get those ingredients together here. All right, so I'm gonna be using my pan here to get going. I got a little saucepan that I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm using for this uh, barbecue sauce here. So the first thing I'm gonna use is an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I'm gonna put that right inside my pan there. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a whole cup of ketchup in here. So I got this uh, ketchup bottle that I pretty much had a cup of ketchup left, more or less. All right, so I got all my ketchup in there. Next thing I'm gonna use is a half cup of brown sugar. And also in here I have a teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of cumin, and an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can use chipotle as well. I'm gonna drop that right in there. I'm gonna start to mix that up real quick just to get the uh, brown sugar to dissolve. All right, as that starts to dissolve, I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire, however you say it, Worcester sauce, and a quarter cup of lemon juice. And in that as well, we have uh, two and a half tablespoons of white vinegar. All right, let me show you what we got in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up a little bit more Set that right on the grill and let it simmer till it reduces just a little bit. Then we'll take it off the grill and just set that aside for our barbecue brisket sandwiches. All right, so as I said, awesome piece of gear. I'm gonna go ahead and head inside, let this cook a little bit, let that barbecue sauce simmer. And again, like I said, this is an awesome piece of gear because I can just grab this, take this with me inside the house. I can keep checking on my temperature. We're at 154 right now. We need this to get up to about 160 to 165, depending on whether we want it well, medium well, or medium rare. Yeah. All right, so we're back and our barbecue sauce is simmering, but before I even uh, attempt to touch it, I'm also gonna use these uh, awesome heat gloves that I got from Grillaholics. And you wanna do that before you touch any pan that you put on a grill, especially outside, and you have it covered because the whole thing's gonna be hot. But it's already simmering. Smelling good, looking delicious. And one thing I forgot to mention, guys, is with these products from Grillaholics, if you like any of these products that we're showing here from Grillaholics, you can go on their website and use the link down below in the description also to save 20% off any of their products or use the code uh, GARDEN20 as well to save 20% on any of those uh, Grillaholics products. But we're gonna taste our barbecue sauce here. Tastes delicious if you haven't tasted um, barbecue sauce from Texas. 
especially Rudy's Barbecue, it has that distinct tangy but spicy uh, barbecue flavor that's absolutely delicious with a barbecue brisket sandwich. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this simmer just a little bit longer so it heats all the way through. And then we'll come here at the end and show you the finished product with the brisket and what that looks like with that barbecue sauce. All right, so me and GR are here in the garden. I want to show you how this uh, thermostat works. So it's basically beeping me, telling me that my brisket is done. So let's put it over there. And as I said, we can actually remove this from the base here. So I'm sending it back here on the base. I'm gonna stop it there. And I had it set to medium well. So it's at 165, 165. Open it up here and look at that brisket right there. Looks delicious. So that's basically how it connects, guys. Like I showed you earlier, that that's the uh, the thermometer right there, and that cord comes all the way over here to the base. And like I said, you could carry this everywhere you want, but that looks pretty good right there. Looks delicious. I'm gonna cut that up and uh, see what them sandwiches come out looking like, especially with that uh, that barbecue sauce. And then these hands, they've been done for a little bit, but I set them over to the side and let them get a little bit more smoky. Okay, so I'm gonna get this brisket off the grill. Just wanted to show you guys real quick how that thermometer works and what we have going on here uh, just on a random weekend when we're out here in the garden because it's an awesome thing to be doing, especially when we're gardening out here. We love to grill, we love to make some food out here. Again, you can save 20% on all these Grillaholic products by using the link down below or the code GARDEN20 at checkout and you get 20% off of that. But um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Just wanted to do a quick video for you guys, show you guys what it looks like. Stay till the end of the video so you can see what these sandwiches look like put together. And that barbecue sauce is absolutely amazing. Love making it. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do make it, let us know in the comments down below what you thought about it, what you thought about the rub as well. So that's going to do it, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video.